All right, folks, let's see here. Um, today is day two of learning Pixlr. Um, yesterday, you played around with that butterfly, and it, it oddly went a lot faster than Photoshop. So what we're going to do today, excuse me, click on 122.21. Trying to look good in this camera. All right. Please make sure you join the Google Meet. Do not start this until the Google Meet or after the Google Meet. Uh, finish your first butterfly today. Then we're going to upload that butterfly to your Google Slides. Then we're going to start second Pixlr Cougar. Follow, follow the directions below. So we're going to start a new file in Pixlr with the same dimensions from yesterday. Then you're going to control C and paste the cougar. So what I mean there is, on this cougar, right click and click copy. Then we're gonna go to the home page, click our button for Pixlr, then make sure you click on Pixlr E, which I can't because my face is in the way. And then you click create new. So title this, you can do second Pixlr, Cougar, and then your last name. The width, I would write this down on a post-it and put it on your Chromebook, or write it somewhere, and then click Create. Now what you're going to do is you're going to paste the Cougar into the Pixlr document. So Control V, as in Victor, oh man. Look at that sensitive today. Do you see how many I just I feel like I clicked it once and it did it like a bunch of times. Annoying. So I don't need all those. So when a mistake happens, suck it up and fix the problem. Ironically, I do need a bunch of layers, but I don't need them yet. Okay. So here's my layer. Um, I'm going to bust this out a little bit so you can see this in my last video. There we go. All right, so you have your cougar. We're going to do just like in the butterfly, we're going to delete the white. So go to the magic wand tool. It's called wand select. Click just one time on the white background. And then on your keyboard, click backspace. Now to get it to be deselected, you have to press control D. And it should look like that. Now we're going to, going to do the same style and stuff that we did yesterday with the image adjustments, excuse me, adjustments, hue saturation. So come along here, change your cougar so he looks cool, a different color. Um, and then what we're going to do is make a pattern. So to make a pattern, click on the move tool or in Pixlr it's called arrange tool. I'm going to make this guy a little bit smaller, and I'm going to put him up to the top corner. Now I'm going to, in the layers box, on the first layer we have there, you're going to duplicate layer. So now I have two blue cougars. I want to change the colors, though. Let's do the opposite. No, I want it to be... Funky. Not realistic, funky. There we go, like that. All right, so now you have two colored cougars. The cool thing about Pixlr, I love this. Click on the first one, hold the shift button down on your keyboard. So click on the key, sorry. Click on cougar one, hold the shift button down. Click on Cougar 2, you see how now both of them are selected? Now with your keys, do control C. Control C means to copy. Now do control V as in Victor, and it has been pasted on top. So now you should be able to, with your arrange or move tool, <gasps> oh my god.
Now, this is a pattern, and you kind of want them to be spaced the same. So that I can tell the space from this cougar paw to this one is about one and a half squares. So I tried to do the same over here, okay? It's okay that the pink one here at the right gets cut off. So then we're going to do the same thing. So click on the first one, hold the shift button down. Keep that held down and click on the other one. Control C, Control V once. I love it, this is so much fun. All right, now because this is a pattern, you could always just do like stereotypical right on top of each other. But let's make it fun and do it like alternating pattern. Is that cool? Then you can keep doing that. So I'm gonna paste again. and line these up as best I can. Now I know on the left we have this negative space here. So I am going to eventually, up. Oh. All right, what I did there was I moved something on accident and I wasn't happy about it. So I did control Z to backspace that. And I'm trying to go up here. I have to click all these again. Okay, there we go. Move these so they match. I don't know, do I want to do it here or the other way? All right, I'm going to do it again. Beep, beep, beep. So here, you're just learning how to repetitively copy and paste, but then to make a pretty cool pattern or design out of it. Now I think over here it would be um, pink cougars. So I'm going to... And you could be like, what's the point of this? Um, well, this is how fabrics are made, textiles. Um, this is um, how cool like backdrops for a photo shoot, like, or if you're at, like opening a restaurant, you could take uh, Texas Roadhouse's logo and copy and paste it like a billion times for the, the walkthrough. Um, and that way people can see the advertisement behind them. Um, this could be just a cute blanket. I mean, this could be all kinds of stuff. So it's a cool tool to get to learn how to make a pattern as well. And you can, of course, like, let's say you don't like the pink and the blue, you can change that up a bunch, okay? So this is the goal for part, I don't know, one, your goal is to upload the first butterfly. Two, your goal is to do this, okay? Uh, there might be a third goal, but I haven't thought of that yet. <laughs> All right, folks, um, save this, and then I will have you uploaded to your Google slide.